Hey guys, this is Saman here from DIY King and in today's episode of DIY Projects, I'm going to show you how we can print ourselves a powerful miniature metal cutting chop saw by using commonly available hardware as in most of my projects. So have a look at how useful this miniature chop saw is. The base for this cutting machine is made out of 7mm thick MDF sheet measuring 10 inch wide and 12 inch in length. Now to properly space the rear support plates, I used aluminium tubing that will be later used to make the arms for mounting the motor and the cutting blade as well. The arms for mounting the motor and the cutting blade are made out of 12mm aluminium square tubing cut down to a length of 10 inch each.
imagination began to become a new art form. Makes me feel I belong to someone. Now in order to control the speed of the rotating blade, I decided to use a pulse width modulation circuit based on a triple pipe timer IC and for that I'm going to order my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. They have such a user friendly website and to get an instant code all you need to do is to upload your Gerber files for the PCB and once these files are uploaded you can review them with the built in Gerber viewer for any errors present in the PCB. Later you can go through the options that are given below the Gerber files such as the quantity of the PCB, PCB thickness and once you are done with that you can check out with your order and for the first order you can get as low as $2 for up to 10 PCBs and that includes the shipment cost right at your doorstep so don't forget to check out their website that is jlcpcb.com so the PCBs arrived within just a week and the quality is outstanding as you can see over here the heart of this circuit is a triple pipe timer IC that switches the MOSFET real fast in order to control the amount of energy that is being delivered to the heating filament. For more information about this circuit, the schematic list of components and the Gerber files, be sure to check out the blog spot of this project on instructables.com. The link will be given in the description below. Now I'm going to solder all the components onto the PCB. In order to deal with larger amount of current, I decided to use an N-channel MOSFET instead of a transistor that is an IRF540 N-channel MOSFET which is commonly available and it is rated for 100 volts and up to 30 amps of current. Besides that, I am using a linear switch which not only switches the supply but it also provides the variable resistance. So first of all, I am going to connect it to the pulse width modulation board. This kind of switch is usually available in any power tool such as a hand drill or a hand grinder. So you can get one from any electrical store dealing in tool parts.
cutting blade is mounted onto the motor shaft using a custom made adapter that is made by using a lathe. The cutting disc is a 4 inch disc that is used in small angle grinders to cut through metal sheets. Since I am unable to cut through the MDF sheet using the metal cutting disc, so I have to switch the disc to a wood cutting disc in order to get the job done. Here I am using a 12 volt car battery in order to power this metal cutter. So if you like this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover have a look at some of my other project videos as well. And for more upcoming projects, do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the link just given over here. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you soon in the next one.